around the world have learned a patented rules-based strategy for trading stocks, options, futures, and forex at Online Trading Academy. They show how money is made in upside ways and down markets with limited risk. You'll learn with the school's money, not yours, from instructors who are certified, currently trade, and are profitable. This patented strategy is used by banks and institutions and taught only at Online Trading Academy in real classrooms on campus. See how it works. Attend a free half-day class in Broward or Palm Beach. Get out of the rat race. Call Online Trading Academy, 561-674-9800, 561-674-9800. That's 561-674-9800. Talk 1470 WNN is now available on iHeartRadio. Download it now for free on your app store. And take WNN with you wherever you go with iHeartRadio. Talk health. Talk wealth. Talk politics. Talk 1470. WNN. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Do you have enough light in your life? Are you soaring in the joy around you? Are you stuck and unable to make life happen? Stay tuned for the Rabbi Jenny Show, where you will learn how to bask in the light and find more joy and meaning in life. Call to talk to Rabbi Jenny at 888 565 1470 and email questions and comments at rabbijenny.com. And now, if you're ready, stay tuned for the rabbi who will light your world on fire. Rabbi Jenny. <laughs> hey, happy Wednesday. Welcome. This is Rabbi Jenny. I am so thrilled to be here. It's an exciting, jam packed star. I don't know. It's a crazy, crazy show with a crazy, uh, Vibe going on here with lots and lots of information. So I just want to give you a heads up. This may be one you want to play back. And you can do that at www.rabbijenny.tv. You can also check us out on YouTube. You can catch me on my Facebook page. It's on my timeline. But this is definitely going to be a jam-packed show full of information. Before we start, I want to remind you of the two main ideas of the Rabbi Jenny Show. The first one is this. The world is happening for you and not to you. That is absolutely 100% of the time it is happening for you and not to you with no exception. And why is it happening for you and not to you? Because you are divine love, light, energy, and you are always expanding to becoming more love and more light in this life. That is actually what we want from you, to be more of who you were intended to be. And we have so many stories and so many ideas that we tell ourselves throughout life that tell us that we're disconnected from the magic of life. So we actually have to get connected. But the truth is, is that we are connected. You're a piece of it, for goodness sake, which is uh, part of the topic. I'm trying to figure out how to, to bring it all together because what we're talking about this, this week is the gifts of the earth. And the inspiration is actually oil, of all things. And it comes, of course, from Tzitzeva, which is this week's Torah portion. And the very first line in this week's Torah portion, last week we learned that we're building the tabernacle. This is a very exciting time for Moses and the Israelites, and they're building the tabernacle for, for worship and for Torah. And we talked last week with Reverend Nancy about how this sacred place, this sacred tabernacle can be viewed as yourself. And the instructions this week in the portion begin as this. Ah, tell your children, command them, that they need to go out and get the purest oil, purest olive oil, and have it burn eternally in a lamp. That's the first line. So that tells me something, that this idea, this oil, is very, very important. And we see the idea of oil throughout Scripture. One of the most famous uh, psalms is about Psalm 23, where it says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. I have all that I need. Now, I always teach you that the Torah is a code, and it actually comes from the Hebrew words and the Hebrew letters, and they mean things. And they're actually telling us more and more about life. So when we look at the Hebrew word for oil, which is actually the word shemen, which isn't a coincidence because it's actually telling us something, this word shemen that stands for oil. It is actually telling us that the earth, the Shekhinah, which is the first letter, the Shekhinah, the mother earth part of God, the, the mother and the father, the father sky, the mother earth. The mother earth has something flowing, which is the middle letter, the mem, flowing through her to give to your nun or your nefesh, your nishama, your soul. 
That is the word, shemen. That is exactly what it stands for. And what is amazing is the word shemen is actually the same letters for the word nishama, which is the human soul. And that's the inspiration, that there are gifts of this earth, that we are supposed to take of those gifts with the things we eat, the things we smell, the things we taste, standing by the ocean, touching the sand, hugging a tree, eating an apple. We are supposed to engage in the web of life. I want to read you one of my favorite quotes by Chief Seattle. Where he talks about this idea that we are actually a part of something greater, that we actually have much more than we need to need, you know, because we are part of this web of life. And he says this, this we know, the earth does not belong to people, people belong to the earth. This we know. All things are connected like blood, which unites one family. All things are connected. Whatever befalls the earth befalls the sons and daughters of the earth. People do not weave the web of life. We are merely strands on it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. What this tells me is I'm a part of the web which means when I eat of the earth, when I make the choice to nourish my body, my tabernacle, my soul, myself, with the things of the earth, I can expand and become healthier and greater and live the life that I want to live because I'm erasing those old stories that I'm not. You know, it's like we can do, our actions actually change the way we think and feel. And it might sound funny, but eating an apple can actually change the way you think and feel if you consciously remember that this thing grew on a tree and fell off it and now you're eating it. I mean, how fabulous is that? Nobody had to make a, a plant to, to design it or, or it just fell out of a tree as a gift to nourish you and feed you. Our show today is about this. It is about the gifts of the earth, the way that we treat our body. We have a very special guest today. So I'd like to actually change the format a little bit because we have a lot of stuff going on. And we're actually going to introduce right now to you to talk about these things, our bad, bad, bad Mama Gemma. Hey, hey. Yes, we are here on the Rabbi Jenny Show with Amy Steinberg, the 2016 Posse Award winner for her song, Burning Into the High, which Woo-hoo! we will hear. She just happens to be my very much lookalike sister. I have to take my glasses off so I have some sense of originality. There I am. I'm somebody <laughs> different. Yay. People okay. think we're twins. I know. That's so weird since I'm older. So, ew, that's good for me. I'm flattered. And, yes, yes, yes. Um, well, she's a genius, so... Oh, it's mutual geniusness. Anyways, we're going to stop felling and we're going to talk about this <laughs> because this is an important topic and it was inspired by Amy coming on through through the divine order. But it also the yeah. scripture talked about oil. Um, Amy is not only an award winning um, musician, uh, which we can say now, which is so very exciting because this is a few years into being nominated. Um, but Amy is also a representative of doTERRA, which is an aromatherapy essential oils company. And I've used them. I've been using essential oils in my own life for, for a while. I've used her products. And she's here to talk to us about this idea of how using the products of the Mother Earth itself can change your feelings because it can make you feel, I believe, more connected. I think it awakens you to the truth. It awakens your DNA to yeah. the truth that you are a part of everything. Right. There's something in us that is spiritually connected to the oils. Mm. When we think back to herbs and oils and potions and things, we think about the Italian grandmother that puts the oregano in the sauce or mm-hmm. the Jewish mother says to have some chicken soup. Right. They have antibiotic. They have antimicrobial. All these all these wonderful qualities that the earth has for us. And I think what what's happened for for human for us in the Western world is that we sort of have gone away from Mother Earth only to want to come back. Mm. You know, it's kind of like you move away to Indiana and then you come back to Florida yeah. I didn't move to Indiana that's no. not the, that's yeah. not what happened but um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know I think there's this natural healing revolution going on and I'm just I'm a part of it because a friend of mine gave me a bottle of lemon which is made in Italy from the lemon peels cold pressed mm-hmm. um, from this particular company doTERRA that I chose to represent and uh, it, it's uplifting. Think about lemons. Lemons are citrus. When you smell citrus, it cleans. Yes. It, it's uplifting. It's mm. opening. And I just actually put some lemon lavender and peppermint. You can smell it in the mm-hmm. room. Absolutely. It's totally refreshing and opening. And I think it is very spiritual because it's, it's, a, it's an intelligence that we have. When you said the apple, I was thinking about how 
there's the organic apple and then there's the GMO apple, right? Mm-hmm. The GMO apple, our bodies are like, what is this? And it starts to attack it. Right. But the 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 organic. healthy organic apple that drops our body goes, oh, look, there's the pe- pectin. Oh, look, there's the fiber. Oh, look, this is what to do with it. We're intelligent creatures. And so I think just going back to Mother Earth is, is it's really so cool. Important. It's so w- important. really cool. It's neat. You know, I, I noticed like when I was in Peru, um, when I ate with the, the teachers, I... We ate like just like a tomato, uh, fresh cheese, and an avocado. And I came home and I don't eat chicken anymore. I don't eat uh, my bot. Like I crave, I go walk through the grocery store and I'll pick up one of those organic. Like my body has recognized something. And so we we talked about that Mm -hmm. last week. If you were listening last week with Reverend Nancy, we talked about that the sacred space that we actually have to create is us. Mm -hmm. So tell us... um, you know, the different uses for aroma. Let's start there. Like, what what could somebody uh, use aromather- aromatherapy? I mean, some people, first of all, think it's about smell. So, Well, what's really cool about essential oil, these particular mm-hmm. essential oils, not necessarily the ones you would buy, you know, in, in the, you know, in the Whole Foods or whatnot, but, but these particular essential oils are really, really pure. Mm-hmm. So you can use them three different ways. You can use them um, aromatically, like we think of aromatherapy, we think of breathing it in. Mm-hmm. You could use it topically, like you can actually use them, like a lavender will cure a burn just mm-hmm. like that, or it will cure a mosquito bite all of a sudden. Wow. It will calm your body. Body. Or you can also ingest these particular oils, not all of them, but certain ones, to get into your system. So there's three ways to use oils, and um, it's a, it's a it's definitely an education. It's definitely learning about it. This particular company does not just throw them at you and say, "Hey, let's slather them all over each other." They say, "Go take a class, learn about it, learn which oils to use for what." And I'm still learning because there's, I mean, Mother Earth is so filled with so many different a plethora of things i have a little my little sample thing here and there's i've got lots of great stuff you know peppermint lemon lavender mm. cinnamon um malaleuca things that we know are, are already in our gum that we chew and already right. but this is just that's all it is is the oil there's no additives no toxins no and it's just pure pure healing potion it's well amazing. you know and it's funny because you know if you're listening you might be overwhelmed you know some of the things we talk about on the show is like well I, i've never done that i've never dealt with that and it, mm-hmm. and it does take some like an intention mm-hmm. and i think that you know it's important to s- just start you mm-hmm. know you don't want to get overwhelmed yes. you don't want to think okay i'm gonna just you know you could you could literally <laughs> yeah. just just start like yeah. even just you know getting one of those oil lamps in your house trying to get in touch with the fact that your senses mm. recognize different things you know and tasting different things like i I'm, when you breathe something in yes. when you smell something it 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 goes directly to your limbic system, which is your, uh, you know, where I, th- I think it's your amygdala. I'm not really that great at the science piece, but it's your memory. Mm. So that's why when you smell a certain flower, it might remind you of childhood or mm. it might remind you of a good thing. And that's why it's very bio-individual. Somebody might have a bad memory connected to lemon. You know, they had somewhere they used some really strong lemon cleaner when they were a kid. Or it could be reminiscent of something mm. else. So it depends. It's very bio-individual when it comes to the aromatherapy piece of it. What turns you on? What, t- what turns you up? What makes you feel good? For me, mm. peppermint just widens my eyes and opens my nasal passages and makes me feel alert and clean and clear and that that happens for a lot of people mm. um you could start as simple as something like a lemon or a peppermint um if 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 anybody out there is interested in just taking a look my personal website is my doTERRA d-o-t-e-r-r-a which doTERRA means of the earth yeah my doTERRA.com slash steinberg love s-t-e-i-n-b-e-r-g love doTERRA, mydoterra.com slash Steinberg Love. And it's just, you know, for me, it's like a hobby business because mm. I'm, mu- I'm a musician primarily. But when I think of my music, I think of my music as healing and well, this yes. partners with it. You well, know, just and it, it's mind, body, and spirit. Exactly. You know, and that's what this show is about. Mm-hmm. Like you, you can have, you know, it, it all has to work together. What you say, what you think, and what you ingest has to work together. Mm. Eventually, you, the body piece is such an important piece. Um, you know me, I've been vegan now for, what, three and a half months, girl. And your body starts to crave it. Like, yeah. I w- I'm on yeah. Clavin and Chloroxygen and these mm-hmm. mushrooms from Japan for a few years, and I cannot eat certain, I just, yeah. I don't even want Can't it. Can't tolerate it's, it, yeah. It's not even like that. It's not even hostile. It's just, 
my my it's my, bo- what my you're body drawn doesn't to. want it. You're not drawn to it. It's like Plus energetic. the results are so much quicker. Oh look, there's my song so, that won an award. Yes, this is <laughs> Burning into the High is going to take us into break by Amy Steinberg. This is the winner of the 2006 Posse Award for 2015. 16. Oh, it's 15. 15. This is from last 2015. year. 2015. And what personal, was the category? Personal transformation. Personal so. transformation. Burning into the High. Amy Steinberg. Rabbi Jenny from the Rabbi Jenny Show. Are you planning a wedding, baby naming, or bar bat mitzvah? Have you recently adopted a pet, bought a new home, or opened a new business? Do you have an important anniversary coming up and would like to renew your vows? Have you recently lost a loved one and need some compassion and care through this process? These are some of the many life events that touch our lives. It is at these moments that we need a special person for guidance and compassion and care to officiate and guide us through those moments. Call me, Rabbi Jenny, at 561-346-8207 to guide you and officiate these life events. 561-346-8207. Rabbi Jenny for personal compassion and care and loving guidance for the important events of your life. Substance abuse disorder is a thief. Substance abuse disorder steals your self-esteem. Substance abuse disorder steals your power. Substance abuse disorder steals your joy. Substance abuse disorder steals your purpose. Substance abuse disorder steals your life. If you or someone you love is suffering from the effects of substance abuse disorder, Epiphany Resources has your solution. At Epiphany Resources, Rabbi Jenny and her acclaimed clinical team offer a unique and effective combination of creativity, spirituality, and cognitive therapy to treat and empower those suffering from substance abuse disorder. Get back your self-worth. Get back your power. Get back your joy. Get back your purpose. Get back your life. Contact Epiphany Resources at 561-762-0272 or at www.etcfl.com and say goodbye to substance abuse disorder and hello to life. Epiphany Resources, a place to begin. The after school hours between 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. are when millions of children go home alone or are without adult supervision. Statistics have shown that during this time, gang involvement, teenage pregnancy, and drug use begins. For the past 15 years, For the Children, Inc., a place where children come first, has been a pioneer in providing quality after-school programming for underprivileged youth aged 5 to 18 in Palm Beach County. Our children are our future. To ensure their success, they must have equal access to quality educational, personal growth, and leadership tools. For the Children, Inc. provides them all. Donate now to For the Children, Inc. at www.forthechildrenfirst.org. This public service announcement for For the Children, Inc. was brought to you by the law offices of Manjula Caladini, Esquire, concentrating in immigration law www.immigrationassociates.net You have been listening to Rabbi Jenny who asks, are you ready to bring more light and love and joy into your life? A spiritually uplifting show that will change your world. Call in at 888-565-1470 or email at rabbijenny.com and share your thoughts with Rabbi Jenny. Now, back to our show. Hey, welcome back. It's Rabbi Jenny. I'm here with Amy Steinberg, our bad mama jamma. We're talking about Mother Earth, the gifts of the earth. We're talking about aromatherapy. I have to read a couple of quotes that, you know how I love my quotes, listeners. The first one uh, is by Michelangelo, of all people. And he said, my soul can find no staircase to heaven unless it is through Earth's loveliness. Oh, Mm. delicious. Okay, and then this one's actually about aromatherapy. And if you're listening, I truly believe the world's happening for you and not to you. So if you're a Rabbi Jenny listener and you're listening to the show today, this is the message for you that it's time to 
to spice it up, okay? Because aromatherapy can spice up your life. It awakens your energy centers, right, Amy? Absolutely. And it it, lo- it brings new life into your tabernacle, into your soul. I got. I have to read you. There's books on aromatherapy, so I'm going to quote a couple because they're so... These quotes are like, oh, my God. Okay, so Elena Millman, who wrote Aromatherapy for Sensual Living, writes this. I invite you to drink in the divine nectar of aromatic love and let Mm. it penetrate you Mm. in the deepest, most profound ways. Trust that the oils are working side by side to Mm. heal, regenerate, and teach you. That's what we were talking Mm. about. The more you use them, the more they'll reveal their secrets to you. Mm. So I think the message is to try. You know, there's there's what what doTERRA, what Amy is using. And I I actually use one of the uh, on guard. guard. I don't get sick. I mean, I got to be honest. I take one in the morning and one in the night. I ingest it and I'm good. It was hard. It's very strong. So, I mean, it took me a while to get up to the full the thing. But um it's fantastic, and I, I gotten, feel like... I have, we don't believe flu is a season. I have not got, gotten sick this entire knock-on whatever. Yeah. That I the, I put a little on my feet at night before I go to bed, and it's got cinnamon and cassia mm. and clove and all these magical mm. just earth. Mm. Basically, mm. just rubbing some earth on your feet. You know, and it's really... You it know, works. I have, I have to say, I was, I was watching this this movie. We're movie people. Amy and I are movie people. Grow up. I'm watching this movie, Mel Gibson, What Women Want, where he can read Helen Hunt's mind. You know, yeah, yeah, and he he manipulates this Nike ad for running in it, and the, basically what it says is, you know, the road doesn't care if you call at ten o'clock at night, and the road doesn't, you know, it's basically saying like the road, <laughs> and then it says, you know, uh, Nike, you know, no games, just sports, you know, and as I run in the morning now, and I hit my feet on the earth, you know. I am so rejuvenated because I'm getting connected, and I think that that's what this show is about. Mm. You are a piece of the divine, listeners. That's I mean, right. you really are. And um, let's put the oils just aside for a little bit because you, well, there's so much to promote well, going on. Well, it really on. could go with the central oils that we could the sort of sexy. lead into the, into the vagina the monologues. Vagina monologues. <laughs> we got the vagina monologues Friday. We're going vagina. But, uh, okay. I just got lost there. <laughs> I know. It's a little, I it's, got a little I, lost. She's verklempt. I'm a little verklempt. <laughs> vagina monologues is an award-winning play by Eve Ensler. I absolutely mm. adore her, and it's it's been around for a long time. Amy has written an amazing theme song, which you can <laughs> it's check out. It's pretty hilarious. On. It's pretty hilarious about it. And that will be Friday night, and that is down yeah, at... Yeah, Friday night, the Gratitude Trainings are hosting this production by the Goddess Art Parties and Performance Proceeds Benefit Community Charity Projects, as well as Eve Ensler's famous One mm. Billion Rising campaign. I will be performing a small set before this this benefit concert on the benefit show. And I will show. be there if yep. you want to come Rabbi hang out Jenny. with Rabbi Jenny. Come meet Rabbi Jenny Friday, February 19th. <laughs> it's a one-time VIP preview performance on Friday, and I'm not sure if it's sold out, so Definitely check it out and get your tickets. Um, you can check that out by it's going really to... It's really a fantastic show. Like, I, yes. I think that we're talking about getting connected to your body and listening Oof, to your yes. body. Um, most women, we're going to get a little... We're taking a, we're taking a turn. That's why I love radio. But most women don't listen to their vagina. And no. the whole... The whole the whole show is basically talking to yours, it's, you know, in different ways. It's, it's fantastic. It's very... It's funny and it's, insightful. It's eye-opening to see how uncomfortable you might get with mm-hmm. the word and such. Um, it's at the Gratitude Training Center, 1955 North Federal Highway number 207 in Pompano Beach okay. this Friday, Gratitude Training Center at 7 p.m. And it's going to be really, really cool. I'm so blessed to be have asked. You know, you know you've made it when somebody says, hey, could you write me a song about it's the awesome. vagina? <laughs> And the chorus is pretty great. My vagina, my, oh, my Lord, vagina. Oh, Lord, we are going my all the way. vagina, it's Wait. mine. It's yeah. good. It's really it's funny. Good. It's it's very funny. It's, it's very And I rap, funny. and it's really good. So tell us about music, because we were talking about oil, and we're talking about getting connected, and I love when you come on, Amy, because I love when you tell the listeners how important it is to be creative. Because in addition to feeding our body with healthy things, um, how we get in touch with the earth is through music. I mean, birds sing. Yeah, music is 
a you part know what, of who we what, are. What I just thought of as you were saying that is that everything's a vibration. Mm. So the oils have a vibration, right? Mm-hmm. Our bodies yep. have a vibration. The earth mm. has a vibration. We're, uh, we're uh, attracted to things. And sound waves are vibrations. So yes. when you listen to music, it actually heals you. I believe mm. music heals. Um, that's why I sing positive music or cathartic music or funny music because I believe it is opening you up and healing you. Tonight, I'm doing a healing There's so meditation. many things to promote. I know Please so many play back on. the show at rabbijenny.tv or go to Facebook to my timeline because um, there's, a lot going on. there's a lot going on. Tonight at the Boca Center for Spiritual Living. Tonight. Tonight at 7 at p.m. 7 like in two we'll hours. Be there. Yeah, yes, we're, we will. we're hustling over there right after the show, and I'm going to do a little bit of a meditation music service, followed by an oil class with some master teachers. Julie Weinberg and Meredith Kelly are going to be there, and they're brilliant. They're from Provincetown. And that's at 7 o'clock tonight. That's free at the Center for Spiritual Living. Music, meditation, oils. Mm. But I just, I think music heals, and I, I think. Um, it's really important to sing and dance. My friend, often if I if I call her and I'm like having a bad day, she's like, I think you're suffering from a dance deficiency. You're having severe dance <laughs> deficiency. <laughs> like you need to get up and like turn up the music and feel it, you know, and let your body move to it. And I definitely struggle with my dance deficiency at times, Rabbi Jenny. It's funny because <laughs> one of the, yes, I do too, you know. Yeah. And one of the things that I've been thinking a lot about lately is the things that get in our way in becoming exactly who we're supposed to be. And we may have a very special guest on a little bit later who talks about this, that we come in as a piece of the divine, very much like I have shared, but we come in with an intentional energy. And there are all these things that happen through our victim mindset and through our negative messages and our storytelling and the people around us that like cover that message up. Mm. And sitting here in the studio with you, I mean, our entire childhood was spent writing skits and dancing and making mm-hmm. music. And, and and it's so wonderful to know that through some of the things that we teach you on the show, through meditation, journaling, talking to people, making music, we've peeled away some of the crap that was in the way of us mm-hmm. living exactly how we were when we were sitting in those, mm-hmm. you know, shag carpets, you know, deciding how we were going to take over the world, you know, like that's <laughs> it's, you know, I've been thinking about that because I think that there is a misconception. And if you're listening, listen, I just want you to listen to me. The world wants you to be what you what you came to be. It's very, very, very important. I don't need you to be me. We don't need you to be someone else or what somebody else thinks you should be. We need you to follow that joy, that bliss, that piece of you that's telling you to go this way or that way. That's what we need you to do. This is a big puzzle. And that's the piece. That's the part you came to play in the mm. show. That's you know? cool. And it just won't, that. it won't, it won't be the same show. It'll be like a really bad sequel. <laughs> we need like you know a killer new kind of thing you know yeah and only if you're just like original and who you are you know i've just i've just been sorry i just got off there a little bit but, i liked it, it was you good. know um so let's see um tell us about this is something i wanted to know the posi awards what are we've heard the grammys and they're this but the posi awards i've actually been to them with you they're mm-hmm. very big it's and very cool tell 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 the listeners about po- what is positive thought music what is that so there is a movement um in music called positive music and there's a a wonderful um group called the empower arts and you can find them at empower i believe it's empowerarts.ma or you can just google empower arts or posi music p-o-s-i and it's just positive uplifting music and it's not all you know happy sunshines and rainbows but it's all transformational it's all honest open uplifting alchemizing music Mm. and we're sort of this tribe that comes together and I'm so blessed and proud to be a part of it there's such incredible artists um, in unity churches and centers for spiritual living what we call this new thought movement which if you're out there and you're not sure what that is you may have heard of the secret Mm. which you know Abraham teachings or which is this idea that we are a piece of the divine which is what you're teaching and what you're what you're doing here on the show and we basically practice that through our music, knowing that, you know, we are divine energy expressing through the art and we just sort of celebrate each other. And the Posse Wars happen once a year here in Florida. Mm. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be in Florida next year. Hopefully it will be. Oh, so I have a reason to come back to Florida in the winter because, oh, my God, it's beautiful here today. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's it like has been breathtaking. Like ridiculous. Like the sky walked outside mm. and it was just a shade of blue that was just and you can't I, even, yeah. yeah. So the Posse Awards are. Please check it out. I mean, look, look online and see some of those artists. Some of the some of the more well known artists in the movement are Karen Drucker, Janice Stanfield, 
um, me, Amy Steinberg, maybe. <laughs> and I've been to them, and it was really fun. Good I went stuff. to the awards last yep. year, and I've listened to Karen Druck. I mean, some of these people I've listened to you've for years. You've heard these songs over and, and over again. And you don't know that yeah. you've heard them. Some of them are have been remade. Some of them very, very mm-hmm. famous people have... Yep. sung them in Nashville. You know, yeah. some of these some of these artists um have uh really been made a mark on songwriting themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, and it and it goes to the idea that we have a choice on, on the role we're going to play in our life. And mm-hmm. and Amy Steinberg as our bad mama jamma, she mm-hmm. plays that role. You know, we can play the role of the victim or we can play the role of the artist, the creator, the piece of the divine in our life and um mm-hmm. so Amy, just tell us one more time uh, about um tonight's event and the vagina monologues and then um You'll stick around. Okay, so cool. So go ahead. Tell us all about so that. So tonight at 7 o'clock at the Center for Spiritual Living, Boca Raton, I'm going to be leading a music meditation with um, just beautiful, positive, meditative songs. We're going to drop down deep, and then we're going to open up to mm. learn a little bit about the oils because sev- uh, a few teachers are in town that are brilliant from Provincetown, Massachusetts. That's at 7 o'clock tonight. That's for a love offering, so it doesn't cost anything. We'll pass a basket just so that we can pay the space for having us. Um, however, you know, there's no charge. Come and learn. And also, I'm super stoked to come back to the area on Friday night for the Vagina Monologue VIP performance down in Pompano Beach at the Gratitude Training Center. And there's just so much good stuff. If, you, if you're interested in learning more about my music, also, you can go to amysteinberg.net. Mm-hmm. And I just, I, I love being here with you, sissy. I, I think you're the coolest thing ever. Is she the ah! coolest rabbi ever? She's a rabbi. I think I think we're playing something really cool, and we can we can we can wave to it on the way out. I think I said said one of my I love this song. I think I I, ha, I had to play it. It's Peter Gabriel. I think he's the most in touch with the vagina of mm. any male <laughs> artist. I swear, some of the songs. Some he of sings, this stuff is so positive. This too. is shaking the tree. Mm. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. love it. Ooh, uh, this is Rabbi Jenny. We'll be right back with Amy Stamper. Substance abuse disorder is a thief. Substance abuse disorder steals your self-esteem. Substance abuse disorder steals your power. Substance abuse disorder steals your joy. Substance abuse disorder steals your purpose. Substance abuse disorder steals your life. If you or someone you love is suffering from the effects of substance abuse disorder, Epiphany Resources has your solution. At Epiphany Resources, Rabbi Jenny and her acclaimed clinical team offer a unique and effective combination of creativity, spirituality, and cognitive therapy to treat and empower those suffering from substance abuse disorder. Get back your self-worth. Get back your power. Get back your joy. Get back your purpose. Get back your life. Contact Epiphany Resources at 561-762-0272 or at www.etcfl.com and say goodbye to substance abuse disorder and hello to life. Epiphany Resources, a place to begin. The after-school hours between 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. are when millions of children go home alone or are without adult supervision. Statistics have shown that during this time, gang involvement, teenage pregnancy, and drug use begins. For the past 15 years, For the Children, Inc., a place where children come first, has been a pioneer in providing quality after-school programming for underprivileged youth aged 5 to 18 in Palm Beach County. Our children are our future. To ensure their success, they must have equal access to quality educational, personal growth, and leadership tools. For the Children, Inc. provides them all. Donate now to For the Children, Inc. at www.forthechildrenfirst.org. This public service announcement for For the Children, Inc. was brought to you by the law offices of Manjula Kaladini, Esquire, concentrating in immigration law, www.immigrationassociates.net. Hi, it's Rabbi Jenny from the Rabbi Jenny Show. Are you planning a wedding, baby naming, or bar bat mitzvah? Have you recently adopted a pet, bought a new home, or opened a new business? Do you have an important anniversary coming up and would like to renew your vows? Have you recently lost a loved one and need some compassion and care through this process? These are some of the many life events that touch our lives. It is at these moments that we need a special person for guidance and compassion and care to officiate and guide us through those moments. Call me, Rabbi Jenny, at 561-346-8207 to guide you and officiate these life events. 
561-346-8207. Rabbi Jenny, for personal compassion and care and loving guidance for the important events of your life. You have been listening to Rabbi Jenny, who asks, are you ready to bring more light and love and joy into your life? A spiritually uplifting show that will change your world. Call in at 888-565-1470 or email at rabbijenny.com and share your thoughts with Rabbi Jenny. Now, back to our show. Hi, it's Rabbi Jenny. Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. We're talking about the gifts of the earth, and we have a very, very special guest today on the Rabbi Jenny Show. We have Don Miguel Ruiz Jr., who is the best-selling author, the son of Don Miguel Ruiz, and the best-selling author of The Mastery of Self, and he will be coming here to do a workshop, so um, I believe he's on the phone. Um, Don Miguel? Hi, good evening, uh, Reverend Jenny. Uh, Rabbi Jenny, how are you? How are you? I'm so thrilled to talk to you. Now, do I call you Don Miguel? Oh, you can call me Miguel. Miguel, oh, Miguel, Miguel. Now, you're doing a, a workshop up at Jamar's Enlightenment Center on, yes, on yes. Friday night. Now, I have to tell you that I, I, it's, I, I interviewing you, I'm like tongue-tied because there are so many things I want to ask you because I really am such a fan. Um, why don't you tell, can you tell the listeners um, what you mean by the mastery of self? Well, the mastery of self is first and foremost, uh, the ability to one love myself unconditionally, mm. and with that uh, ability to love myself unconditionally, I get to see uh, myself mm. exactly as I am. That's the gift of loving unconditionally. We don't see people with that projected image of who they're supposed to be according to conditional love. We see ourselves just the way we are, which allows us to see someone else just the way they are. Mm. And with that awareness, I become aware that I'm alive and that I am this energy that gives life to this body and gives life to this mind. And with that energy that I use to move my arms, to move my legs, the same energy I use to create a thought. And because my mind is incredibly powerful, I can think of all these infinite possibilities. If I like one of them and say yes to it, I can manifest it with this body and with this mind. Yes. It's really being taking control and becoming aware and taking full responsibility for my own will. Mm. Because to have free will is to be able to say yes and no with a complete freedom of life. You know, I, I love I love the Toltec yeah. wisdom and how it talks about becoming the artist and become that, that pure intention. What can someone who attends the workshop this weekend, I know that there's one on Friday, which is the mastery of self, and then there's one on Saturday, um, which is the mastery of love. So what are the differences between the two? So they're both uh, they're both interrelated, you know. Okay. Basically, they they so you can say it from uh, from a point of view of our family, every single book that we write or every everything that we deal with, is, we face one particular problem, which is domestication, which mm. is a system of reward and punishment by which we model the behavior of an individual. It's the way we learn conditional love mm. from the Four Agreements, Mastery of Love, Voice of Knowledge, Master of Self, Five Levels, and all those books that me and my father and my brother have written. We all deal with that particular problem, and we share it, how we can let go of it, and how we can apply it in our world. You know, as you can say that my father's uh, wonderful book, The, F uh, the Four Agreements, mm -hmm. creates this awareness of, of domestication. Right. And how we can let go of it with my making new agreements. And mind you, the word agreement simply is a word that reflects the action of saying yes. So mm -hmm. from this point of view... I become explaining not only how I learned my family's tradition, but how I apply it in my life. Because there's the expression, the easiest part of enlightenment is the effort to reach enlightenment. The uh -huh. difficult part is staying in enlightenment. <laughs> and our tradition is basically awareness. Right. The easiest part to become aware of ourselves is the effort to become aware. But we live interacting with people every day. We don't live isolated in an ashram. We don't live isolated in a monastery, nor do we live isolated in the hills. We're engaging everyone. So when we work with ourselves in our practice, there's this question of, now what? I've, I have this a moment, a moment of clarity. I have this moment of understanding. And mm -hmm. I begin the process of forgiving myself for using my own intent to go against me for all those years mm -hmm. to judge myself to use my own word to subjugate my own will mm -hmm. and thus reject me for all those times. Now I'm going to let go of it. Mm. Now what? 
Mm. Well, I'm engaging life. So in that engaging of the life, I basically am going to share what I've learned from that and how we can bring that into our own lives. And here's the thing. We're all 7 billion people and 7 billion ways of living life, mm. 7 billion ways of seeing life from our own individual point of view. So what I share is just a, a reflection that the people who we are attending will be hearing their own, mm. they're seeing their own life, and how the, can they bring this knowledge or this instrument into their own life if it's, uh, if it's something that fits, if it's something that helps them, then it's just an instrument that they can use to change not only their perspective with from conditional love to unconditional love, but how they can share that as well. Talk to me about your idea of joy, because I know that you speak a lot of that in the in in the mastery of love and how to express joy and how that 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 will be reflected in uh, Saturday's workshop. Sure. Well, for me, joy is just that moment of pure bliss of being alive at this very moment. Mm. That, that, those moments where it really has nothing to do with the mind, but the mind is completely there to help me in those moments to make me my choices. But that joy of living. That joy of the communion I have with my beloved, with my children, with my friends, that joy of being able to talk to you right now. <laughs> it's, 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 being, it's that moment of being completely alive and awareing it. Mm. And passion is this thing that allows me to move my legs, to move my arms, to move my lips, to think in order to create something. You know, mm. it's, it's doing what we love to do. Mm. So to me, that's the mastery of love. We can be the masters of conditional love or the masters of unconditional love, and that is a choice. Like, like the, your, your previous guest mentions, it's a choice. Mm. We make a choice in how we want to create and how to manifest. Yes. If we want, if we want the perfect nightmare, we we'll have, have the choice to manifest it. But right. if we become aware that we've created it and we want to change direction, all we have to do is say yes to that new direction. It's like... A moment of clarity without any action is just a thought that passes in the wind. Mm -hmm. But a moment of clarity that's followed by yeah. a choice and take action mm -hmm. becomes a pivotal moment in our life. Yes. And, 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 and it's important for the listeners to know that in a, in a workshop setting, some of these major um, shifts of consciousness, it's easier. So um, I want to let the listeners know how they can attend the workshop with you. Um, they can go to jamarcenter.com. I, I would suggest, um, you know, going to the website and um, finding out the information. There is one Friday night, The Mastery of Self, A Toltec Guide to Freedom. And that is uh, from 7 to 9 p.m., $49 or $39 if you call um, or register online. Um, also, Saturday, which sounds fantastic, is a um, um, workshop, Saturday, Ma The Mastery of Love. And everything from eating to spending time with your family to all the stories that we tell ourselves um, in this workshop, you'll gain awareness of how you can shift the way you view those things. Um, where, where would you put emotions in this, in this uh, I don't want to say formula, but in the Toltec wisdom, emotions, what role do they play, Don Miguel Ru? Well, our emotions are real. It's part of our experience of mm -hmm. life. You know, we have an emotional body. You know, we, we perceive with our eyes, we perceive with our ears, we perceive with every single nerve ending, but we also have the perception of our own emotions, and they're real. Mm. But sometimes what triggers them may not be real. You know, a false evidence appearing real right. um, triggers something. An example, when my son was born, I was, I was holding him in my arms, and I had this moment of communion with him. I was so happy to hold my newborn baby boy, and in that bliss... My, my mind just roamed just a little bit, and, and the word SIDS, infant, sudden infant death syndrome, comes <laughs> into my mind. And all of a sudden, I felt a feel like I've never had before, because here in my arms is the one person I never want to say goodbye to, and my whole body just is covered in fear. Nothing happened. Physically, he's still in my arms. He's happy. He's breathing. <laughs> right. And I'm holding him, but in a second, fear just took me throughout. And it took me several months to recover because one of the things when you become a parent is that you, yes. you've experienced a love like no other and you meet that one person you never want to say goodbye to, but at the same time it, exp it exposes that fear that you've always had, well, one might always had, I had. So from that point of view as an instrument from the Toltec tradition, 
It's so funny you, you share that. I have and to share this story with you, Don Miguel, because my sister who was here earlier, she used to make fun of me because we would go to the mall and mm -hmm. my son would run through the racks in the store and she would make fun of me because I was constantly yelling his name. <laughs> because I remembered when I was little when all the kids were taken from the malls. Yeah. And it's just our mind will play these tricks on us. What would you like the listeners to know about this weekend's events so they can come on out and see you? Well, what I want them to know is that it's a, it's one that's going to be entertaining. I'm going to make you laugh. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's it's really this moment where you know you you'll find instruments that are, allows you to heal from the wounds that conditional love left for us. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, with emotions, we use our emotions as this car alarm that when our emotions <laughs> get triggered, it, it, it exposes a wound. And once it's, once we know it's there, we can actually heal it. Mm. So it's it's all about becoming aware of ourselves. Mm. And you can say, I give the lecture that night, but you put it into practice in your life, and the life will change mm. if that's what you want it to. Well, your family's books have changed my life. I've read them all. I use them at my center. And I thank you so much, uh, Miguel, for coming on the show. And, um, and if you want to see Don Miguel, you can check him out at the Jamar Center at jamarcenter.com this Friday for the Mastery of Self and Saturday for the Mastery of Love. Thank you so much for calling in, Miguel. Oh, Rabbi Jenny, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity, and I wish you all the best and big hugs with all my love, and thank you all. Oh, you too. Blessings and love. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. We'll be right back. The after-school hours between 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. are when millions of children go home alone or are without adult supervision. Statistics have shown that during this time, gang involvement, teenage pregnancy, and drug use begins. For the past 15 years, For the Children, Inc., a place where children come first, has been a pioneer in providing quality after-school programming for underprivileged youth aged 5 to 18 in Palm Beach County. Our children are our future. To ensure their success, they must have equal access to quality educational, personal growth, and leadership tools. For the Children, Inc. provides them all. Donate now to For the Children, Inc. at www.forthechildrenfirst.org. This public service announcement for For the Children, Inc. was brought to you by the law offices of Manjula Caladini, Esquire, concentrating in immigration law www.immigrationassociates.net. Hi, it's Rabbi Jenny from the Rabbi Jenny Show. Are you planning a wedding, baby naming, or bar bat mitzvah? Have you recently adopted a pet, bought a new home, or opened a new business? Do you have an important anniversary coming up and would like to renew your vows? Have you recently lost a loved one and need some compassion and care through this process? These are some of the many life events that touch our lives. It is at these moments that we need a special person for guidance and compassion and care to officiate and guide us through those moments. Call me, Rabbi Jenny, at 561-346-8207 to guide you and officiate these life events. 561-346-8207. Rabbi Jenny, for personal compassion and care and loving guidance for the important events of your life. Substance abuse disorder is a thief. Substance abuse disorder steals your self-esteem. Substance abuse disorder steals your power. Substance abuse disorder steals your joy. Substance abuse disorder steals your purpose. Substance abuse disorder steals your life. If you or someone you love is suffering from the effects of substance abuse disorder, Epiphany Resources has your solution. At Epiphany Resources, Rabbi Jenny and her acclaimed clinical team offer a unique and effective combination of creativity, spirituality, and cognitive therapy to treat and empower those suffering from substance abuse disorder. Get back your self-worth. Get back your power. Get back your joy. Get back your purpose. Get back your life. Contact Epiphany Resources at 561 762 0272 or at www.etcfl.com and say goodbye to substance abuse disorder and hello to life. Epiphany Resources, a place to begin. You have been listening to Rabbi Jenny who asks, are you ready to bring more light and love and joy into your life? A spiritually uplifting show that will change your world. 
Call in at 888-565-1470 or email at rabbijenny.com and share your thoughts with Rabbi Jenny. Now, back to our show. Hey, welcome back. It's Rabbi Jenny, and I am elated on this Wednesday talking about the Mother Earth and her gifts and all of the wonderful things. And we've talked to such amazing people about shifting your perspective and recognizing that essentially you are divine. You are part of things. You are part of this world. And it is your job to celebrate and get into Hitlavut and joy, which is extreme joy, um, which is going to lead into it's time. It's time for our Ridiculous Joy Jar Challenge. Joy, 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 joy. It's Adeline Gobergstein, and it's time for the Rabbi Jenny Ridiculous Joy Jar Challenge. Hi, who's on the phone? Nicole. Hi, Nicole. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm well. I am well. Nicole, do you know about the Ridiculous Joy Jar Challenge? You know, I do not. Well, I am so excited because you know what you have to do for me, Nicole? Uh-oh. What do I have to do for you? You have to name for me 10 things in your life that make you ridiculously joyful as fast as you possibly can. Can you do oh that? Okay. Fast? All right. Let me try. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay. Um, I guess life each day is a gift. Mm-hmm. My children. I have a son and a daughter. My health. Um, this wonderful country we live in. My ability to work and succeed at work. Mm-hmm. Um I guess I get to walk as myself in life. That's, yes. That's a gift. Um, having peace, power of prayer, network of family and friends that surround me, and my faith. Is that 10? Uh, you got one more, one more. Uh, and that I have a purpose. Ah, okay. You're going to tell us? What's your purpose? Tell us. Okay, so, well, I guess my, my main purpose is the fact that I'm a parent, I'm a mother, I'm a single mother of two amazing children. Mm-hmm. And I work in the healthcare space, and I also um, seek great pleasure in working in nonprofits, uh, namely the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. So is that what you're here to promote on the Rabbi Jenny Show? No, I'm here to promote um, healthcare. I'm here to promote a company called Simplast. It's a mobile um, software company, mobile medical software company. Okay. And tell us about it. Okay. Well, the name of the company is Simplast. It was designed by plastic surgeons, um, for plastic surgeons and med spas in the aesthetic space. Mm-hmm. And it is a, it, it, it's actually a beautifully designed ecosystem. Um, it encompasses everything from, you know, all of the practice management, the EHR, uh, mm-hmm. the scheduling, billing, inventory, your, all of the imagery and multimedia. Uh, like I said, it's an entire ecosystem. And it, it basically saves the practice and the physician about 15 minutes per patient. Did you just refer to it as an ecosystem? It is an ecosystem. That is brilliant. I it is brilliant. It what? is brilliant. And it's very impressive, and we'd love to talk about it and share it with everybody that we encounter. Hmm. Okay. Well, how can um, a physician get in touch with you? How do they find out about how they add this to their practice to make it more efficient? Okay, I'm going to give you um, my name and number and email, and then also a website. Okay, great. The website that, I, the website that I'd like to promote is www.simplast.com okay. backslash sneak peek. And my name is Nicole Pelkey. Okay. I'm business, business Development for Simplast. And I can be reached at 954-821-1577. Okay, so everyone out there in the medical pro- plastic surgery, you said, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, plastic surgery and aesthetics. So it's one nine five four eight two one one five seven seven to get in touch with Nicole, who's a mother and very passionate about what she does for a living. Um, thank you so much, Nicole, for calling the Rabbi Jenny Show. Again, that's nine five four eight two one one five seven seven. Correct. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a ridiculously joyful night. Enjoy your children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye-bye. you. Thank you. Well, that this is just so turned out to be such a jam-packed show. And I'm really, you know, uh, I think going back to the original idea of the earth and letting yourself really embrace and become one with the earth, um, the mother, the sacred mother, the Pachimama, the Shekhinah, the Shakti, 
the female, the energy of the divine that grows from the earth, not from the sky. This is a very, very sacred, sacred thing. And it is the inspiration for this evening's Jenny Jam. Yo, yo, yo. Jam. Yo, yo, yo. Jam. Jenny Jam. Jam. Mm. 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 Let me tell you about it. Mm. 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 Let me tell you about luscious lady mother earth What you got there in that dirt What you growing way up there Bring it to me, give it here Sexy mama in that way Luscious love in every way You got something that I need Bring it to me, pretty please Hot mama so fine squeezing out that sweet divine all it takes is just a taste not letting nothing go to waste mm, mm, mm. let me tell you about it mm, mm, mm. let me tell you about it sweet as honey sharp as nice luscious lady don't play nice she got what she got to give Make you think and make you live Luscious lady, mother earth What you got there in that dirt What you growing way up there Bring it to me, give it here, hot mama So fine, squeezing out that sweet divine All it takes is just a taste Let nothing go to waste I said, mmm Mmm, mmm, let me tell you about it, mmm, 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 mm. let me tell you about it, ooh, that just, I like that one, you know, I love the Mother Earth, if you know me, you know I've been known to hug a tree, and I want to read a quote by Carlos Castaneda, who is in the same vein as our very special guest, Don Miguel, Ruiz Jr. and his Toltec family. We're talking about the Naguals and the sacred uh, medicine men of the earth, uh, specifically of Mexico. They talk about the love of the earth. And Carlos Castaneda in his book quotes Don Juan and says, Only if one loves this earth with an unbedding passion can one relieve one's sadness. Warriors are always joyful because their love is unalterable and their beloved, the earth, embraces them and bestows upon them inconceivable gifts like we heard about the essential oils the sadness belongs only to those who hate the very thing that gives shelter to their beings don juan again caressed the ground the earth with tenderness this lovely being the mother which is alive to its last recesses and understands every feeling soothed me it cured me of my pains and finally when i had fully understood my love for it it taught me freedom and that is what I want you to learn, listeners, here on the Rabbi Jenny Show, is that you are cradled, you are loved, you are a part of something so magnificent. You do not have to go to the top of the mountains to figure this out. All you have to do is go outside, take off your shoes, walk on the grass, and understand that you are a part of it. The life energy that flows through you flows through every living being on this planet. It is the very, very nature of Jewish mysticism and every other mystical tradition is the acknowledgement that the soul, the spirit, the fire, the life inside of you, when recognized, can expand everything inside of you because suddenly the impossible to you becomes possible when you realize you have tapped something much bigger than you can possibly imagine. So I think that that's the message today on the Rabbi Jenny Show, is there's something that you're thinking about. You're being very limited, listeners. And it's time for you to take a little bit of an extra step out to the Mother Earth, out to the gifts of this planet, to remind you of the bigness, the wonderment of you, and how fabulous you are, and special, and that there's only one you. And it is all I want you to do to shine and be that you. This is Rabbi Jenny. Thank you for joining me. Check out the show again. Play it back. There's lots of good stuff on it at rabbijenny.tv. Have a wonderful, blessed week and keep shining. Love you. You have been listening and lighting up your life with Rabbi Jenny. 
Join us next week for another session of love, light, and joy as Rabbi Jenny takes life to the next level. Are you ready? Rabbi Jenny says the time is now.